are reading the devotional from the Jesse Tree by Kent and Kathleen Pelton. Today's devotional is Zachari- Zachariah and Elizabeth. The scripture is Luke chapter 1, verse 5 through 25, and then verse 62. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. Once when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all the assembled worshipers were praying outside. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. And he will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I'm an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but he remained unable to speak. When his time of service was completed, he returned home. After his wife Elizabeth became pregnant, and for five months she remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Then they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. Zechariah, a priest and the father of John the Baptist, was conscientious and sincere. Elizabeth was his faithful wife supporting him throughout his ministry in the temple. While ministering before the altar of the Lord, God spoke to Zechariah. Even though he was in the house of God, the priest had his doubts as to the words of the promise in which he would play a small part. Would you have been afraid? Would you have doubted? Think carefully. Sometimes we criticize Zechariah for having doubted the words of the angel. But after all, How often is a person confronted by an angel of God? I imagine that this angel looked like a real angel, not one in disguise. And I would believe that seeing a real angel could induce a good bit of fear. So why do we doubt? Why do we sometimes ask God for further confirmation when we already know what he expects of us? Now consider some of the foreshadowing that we see in this account of Zech and Liz. Old Zech was doing the work of a priest, making a sacrifice on behalf of the people to God. His son, John, would be doing the work of preparing the people of God for the ultimate sacrifice of God's son. Further, consider the immediate belief of Liz and the hesitation of Zech. Some people would immediately embrace the coming Savior. Others would hesitate. The point is, The point is that we need not fear God's work in our life. We must be willing to fully accept and be ready, even for the unexpected. Now Zechariah had to write down the name of his son because he could not speak the name. He needed the people to see the name written down as God had given it to him for the had given it to him for their baby. When reading the written word, they could understand the truth for themselves. And now we're going to sing Trust and Obey. Number 437 from the Single Lord Hymn Book. Many of you are very familiar with this song um, from growing up. 
So please sing if you know it. to us daily and we pray that in the rush and the stress of our world you would help us to keep our ears and our hearts open to receive you help us have room in our hearts this season for you to make your home in us we want to fully embrace you and your promise and receive your blessing amen, amen. thank you for joining us What? Oh. Oh. You said that his name would be Moses? <laughs> <laughs>